in year 10 and year 11 geography we learn about development and sustainability so learning about how you can not only just use the water and save it in tanks but also treat the water so that when it goes back out you're sort of adding it back to nature and allowing it to get back to the water table. A lot of the research for the rain garden was on us. We found websites and other various sources of information and as a class and as a school we came up with what we would do in our school and how we would sort of plan out our system. Well it started out as we dug a trench all the way through and then we um, and then we cut, we put a pipeline through the middle and then we covered it in gravel and then put like pebbles and decent sized rocks on top. Because it's facing the north side so it gets a lot of sun so we decided to choose um, a lot of plants that are used to like drought seasons but also uh, can have a lot of rain. We measured it out and to find the heights and the widths of each plant to make sure that it would fit in the rain garden. And we chose specific colours to match our school colours as well. It was good that we got to do something practical, so instead of just learning it from books, we actually got out there and made this garden and got to learn about it the practical way. Actually be able to get out of the classroom and have time outside building the garden and digging and yeah, actually putting it in instead of just designing it and letting someone else do it. It was just a group, a small group of us in relation to the school that was actually doing the garden, but I feel like everyone sort of appreciates it, which is really nice. It was good at working together and the result we got in the end, I mean, it was just better than anything. Yeah, I found it a really nice experience personally that we got to create a little bit of the school, like we had an input into what the school environment is. You know, we can be proud of it now, so I fully recommend other schools to get on board. So with the $1,000, the grant or award, we're planning on continuing another rain garden. So it's a water conscious building. And as well as reusing the water, so it goes onto the garden and into the stormwater and down in the Diamond Creek. It's a way of, I guess, being able to increase the aesthetics of the school, but also students can feel proud of something that they've made themselves and it gets um, them to apply the knowledge. So it's just using it in a beautiful and environmentally friendly way.